Hey, welcome back to the channel, folks. Today I'm working on my 2022 Panigale V4S. I'm trying to replace the instrument panel. If you can see, there's a crack here, and that crack is kind of becoming bigger and extending. Now, this thing is super expensive. That's like a $1,600 um, part. But luckily, I was able to uh, source this through um, eBay. And so what I'm doing right now is to, uh, to replace that. All right, the first step to replace the instrument panel is to go ahead and remove the front fairing. And uh, there are quite a few YouTube videos on how to remove the front fairing, so I'm not gonna um, get into that. Once you do that, you wanna get this little bracket thingy out of here and this is held in place by four screws uh, the two over here and then the two over there so you got to have to remove those two screws and then kind of wiggle this out um, you might feel that you're breaking it but uh, you will be able to wiggle this out and uh, one thing that might help is for you to remove this uh, plug it uh, it goes right in there and to remove it, you would have to, I think it's either compress this or push it out, one of the two, and then pull it out and it comes right out. And once that happens, uh, that shroud that I just showed you um, is a, you know, you can wiggle it out. All right, once you do that, you then have to remove uh, three nuts. And so that's what I'm going to do, the one and the two. And then there's one down there, you can see it. So we're going to remove these three, we're going to unplug this and hopefully this will pop right out. And then I'm going to plug the new one in, uh, bolt it down, plug it in, and, uh, and then get back. All right, so this is the old one that's been removed. And then the next step is to transplant these uh, bolts onto the new one. All right, so when you transfer over the, uh, the damper here, from the old to the new, you gotta be careful about not losing this washer. There's a serrated spring washer. And uh, so yeah, just make sure you don't lose that. You can see I had it in the wrong place, that, that washer. So this goes in first. And then this goes on top and then gets inserted and uh, then you have a nut that goes and locks this into place. All right, so the new instrument panel has been installed and the three nuts have been hand threaded, threaded into place. There's one down there. And so you would use eight millimeter wrench to tighten it down, just snug it up nice and good so that it doesn't vibrate free. I'm not using any Loctite, maybe I should do that. All right, so everything has been snugged up. These three nuts in particular. And it's a good time to clean out the screen in the front because you're not gonna get this kind of access to the screen. And also, if you plan to put on a screen prote protector, this is probably the best time to do it. Okay, so now it's time to go ahead and install this. And so you've got to kind of wiggle, wiggle and snake this through and then tighten it down with the four bolts. Uh, that's one, two, three, and four. So let's do that and get back. Everything has been sewn back up and bolted back together. And you uh, bolt the front fairing back into place. Remember, there's a four millimeter bolt over here, so don't forget about that. And then there is another four millimeter bolt in there that you can't see. So don't forget about that one on each side. All right, now the big test. I'm gonna start it, make sure everything is good. And you 
you can see the key needs to be programmed and paired with the bike. So I'm going to have to take it to the dealership for that. And then also you can see that the total miles is just flashing over there. So again, you need to take this to the dealership and have them bless it and hopefully not charge you an arm and a leg. All right, so everything has been flashed, reflashed, keys have been programmed. You should be good to go.